Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. It's the second day of January, and I hope you had a great New Year's Day. Um, I'm not a happy guy because of the increasing severe weather threat for Tuesday, tomorrow. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. This morning, we're starting off with a dense fog advisory again this morning. Uh, yesterday was a beautiful, beautiful uh, New Year's Day with 74 degrees at Maxwell Air Force Base. The temperature equipment at the Montgomery Regional Airport is not working right now. They're having a problem with that. But um, 74 at Maxwell yesterday. Uh, today, we're starting off with dense fog advisory again. What is this? The third or fourth day in a row. And uh, that'll burn off by about 9 o'clock. And uh, today will be a mild day. We'll get into the 70s, and there'll be some spotty showers around this afternoon. No severe weather today. It is tomorrow we're worried about, and the Storm Prediction Center has uh, um, increased the threat level, unfortunately. Uh, so let's uh, get into the particulars first. Let's take a look at this map, which is the, uh, the, the severe weather outlook for tomorrow. I was not a happy guy when I saw the Storm Prediction Center went up to a, an enhanced level three risk tomorrow for a lot of us as far east as uh, alexander city troy line uh this is an increased tornado threat so all modes of severe weather are on the board including damaging wind gusts tornadoes and uh, large hail as well uh, and uh, one of the problems ha have to do with uh, individual discrete supercells these are thunderstorms that get going on their own. They're all by themselves, uh, and you can see them uh, a little bit after noon here developing, and they start to rotate and drop tornadoes, and so that's going to be a big concern tomorrow. So that's way out ahead of the main line, which will be coming in later on this evening. So we have that mode, discrete supercells in the afternoon. Here's another uh, uh, snapshot at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Then you see that main band later on in the evening hours uh, across Mississippi moving in. So two modes of severe weather tomorrow. Tomorrow, so then it could be um, could be a long day, you know. So we'll continue to watch this developing severe weather threat uh, tomorrow. There'll be additional information for you uh, later on this, this afternoon as needed, and certainly a full update tomorrow, including a blog update and a video as well. And uh, we'll be covering the situation as it unfolds during the day tomorrow. This happens too often in this part of the world. Uh, since late November, gosh almighty, we've had we've had to deal with this. Uh, more than once. Uh, so anyway, that's the that's the price of uh, living here in the Deep South uh, during a La Nina winter. Uh, I hope you have a great day today. Uh, enjoy what's going to be a quiet day today, but mild, maybe a, sh a shower here and there. And uh, we are not live on the radio this morning. Everything's back to normal tomorrow, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 and back on TV as well tomorrow. So have a great day. A lot of you are off and uh, I'll see you later. Boy, our free weather app is going to come in handy, especially during the severe weather threat tomorrow with instant push notifications for severe weather alerts. It knows where you are. Access to uh, all my blog updates and videos and uh, tweets, and uh, you'll see radar and future radar, hourly forecast, 10-day forecast. It's good to have. Get it on your phone or tablet today. Just search Rich Thomas Weather.